Hello students, welcome to another video. Uh, we're gonna be talking about conservation of mass. <clears throat> and we're doing it in terms of stoichiometry. We've learned this previously in chapter six, but we're gonna go into a little more depth. So this is known as the law of conservation of mass, okay, in modern terms as means that atoms are neither created or, nor destroyed in a chemical reaction, okay? You should remember this from last chapter, but I'd like you to write down this definition just as review, okay? And we look down here, we have a guy grilling uh, some hot dogs, and we're talking about the burning of charcoal, and this is the equation that's used. So charcoal is basically just pure carbon, okay? That's kind of gives its characteristic black color, so is coal, okay? It's just car, uh, carbon compounds. And we're adding enough heat to the reaction and combining it with the oxygen in the air, it's going to form carbon dioxide gas. And based on this equation, okay, we're gonna have 12 grams of carbon because there's no coefficient here, it's just one, because this is a balanced equation. And then oxygen is diatomic, so we're gonna have to um, multiply oxygen's molar mass. So there's oxygen, 16, basically 16 uh, grams per mole, and that's gonna give us about 32 grams of oxygen, because there's two of them. And if we add that together, the mass of reactants, we should expect that there's going to be, if it we're doing just a combination reaction, 44 grams of the product because there's nothing else here. It's just this um, one product. And it's gonna equal 44 grams of carbon dioxide. Okay, and that 44 grams comes from the weight of the carbon and the two oxygens, which basically is this side. So what we're trying to connect here is these mole ratios, or now the coefficients up front, because these are all one, this is a pretty basic problem. And we need to just keep in mind that we have to count if they're diatomic because they're together, okay? They're a molecule. And this carbon dioxide is a, is a molecule as well because it's a combination of nonmetals, okay? So the idea is to keep the mass of the reactants the same on either side. So as you're burning charcoal or cooking hot dogs, just remember as you're burning that carbon and, and with oxygen, you're combining it to form carbon dioxide, okay? All right, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.